Okay, so today we are going to discuss another problem from the last year Australian Mathematical Olympiad and this time it will be a, a functional equation. So the, the problem can be stated as follows. So determine all functions f from real numbers to real numbers such that the following equation holds for all real numbers x and y. So let's examine the solution. So we have this condition and the most obvious thing to do is to uh, to try to set x and y to some specific numbers and the most obvious number to, to set it to is zero of course. So let's try first two things. Let's try to set x to zero and let's try to set y to zero. So first we set x to 0, we obtain this condition. So f of f of y is equal to f of 0 for any y. And when we set y to 0, we obtain this condition. f of x squared plus f of 0 is equal to f of 0 for any x. So OK, so then let's uh, examine the second one of these conditions that we obtained let's first reverse it backwards and uh, replace the f of 0 under the like inside the the f argument uh, with f of f of y from the first condition so this is what we are going to do so we first we just uh, rewrite the same the same condition as we obtained in uh, in the point two in the step two, just uh, just reverse uh, left and right side. Then we replace f of zero with f of f of y, right? And this comes from point one. So and notice that here we introduce an additional variable y, and so this holds for any y even though there was no y on the left side. So then what are we going to do? Then we apply again the original condition of the problem. So like what is written on top. So and this we apply to the numbers x and f of y. So this is equal to f of the product of x and f of y. Okay. So Basically, we proved that this condition holds that f of the product of x and f of y is always equal to f of 0 for any x and y. So from this, we are going to proceed as follows. So we are going now to represent any arbitrary number t any real number t as this product x and f of y so that then we will con conclude that f is always a constant okay so this is the idea of the, of the solution so we notice that there are kind of two cases so first is either f of f of y is always zero it's a constant uh, zero function but this is not an interesting case it's uh, like uh, I, I, if this is the case, then we don't need uh, to proceed any further because this is the answer to the problem. The, the, the question was to to determine all functions f, and if f is always zero, then we already found the function f. So this is kind of a special case that we need to include in the answer. But then the remaining case is that f of y is not always zero, and there is some point. Uh, y sub 0 that f of y sub 0 is not equal to 0 so and then we proceed with this case so if there is such point y sub 0 then uh, we represent the arbitrary number t as the product of t over f of y sub 0 multiplied by f of y sub 0 okay so 
then we have uh, f of t we represent t as this product and using the using the condition that we obtained in point 3 we obtain that this is equal to f of 0 okay so what we proved we proved that for any arbitrary real number t we proved that f of t is equal to f of 0 it means that the function f is a constant function it's always equal to some constant now we notice that this actually includes this special case uh, when f of f of y was always zero so this includes the special case when the constant c is zero okay so uh, so we don't need uh, to mention this case in the answer specifically it already it is already included and finally uh, what we what, what we need to do is to check is to verify that this all these functions they indeed satisfy the original condition we just uh, we just check it and this is indeed the case okay so this concludes uh, the solution of this problem